Hey y'all. Okay, so um, what I wanted to do today with y'all is show y'all how I make my own vellum and uh, like some things that I do with my vellum. But before I, I was gonna have it all laid out and ready to go, but I really wanted to show y'all something real quick. So um, I'm gonna show y'all something I've been working on and then I will get all of that stuff out just because I don't want to get these things messy. So I'm gonna show y'all these two things I've been working on. I am just, I'm loving this so much. I'm loving this so much. So these two albums here, they are pretty much the same, but also different. Like they'll have, they have two different complete looks, even though this is pretty much the same, uh, same thing. And you can kind of see where some of the stuff is, you know, the same. Um, the lady that uh, helped me kind of redesign my channel and the, the name and all of that, I, I talked about that before. Um, as a thank you gift, um, I'm making her um, this here. This one is hers. Um, and I wanted to just show y'all these really quick because they are just the cutest and they are so quick and easy to make. Um, I've made four of these now. Um, in about two weeks. So that is just crazy fast for me. Like, cause normally things are take, you know, they take a long time. So, um, I just want to show y'all real quick. So, um, and they're not completely done. Like I still have to get this all glued down. I just needed to get this part just for my magnet placement, but on the front it flips like this and you have like these little tuck spots and stuff and this is also a pocket and then here you have a little tuck in there um so i still have to add some things in here but these are uh like little photo thing here there's all kinds of little photo mats throughout there's another big one and then this is all going to be uh three by four photo mats on all of that um here's some cute little uh, pockets with some photo mats and these uh, flip up like that. And then you have these uh, flip tags here. And then you have this one and it has little pockets here. And then it opens up and it has all of this goodness here. And there's a little belly band right here. And then there is a uh, another like envelope there. And then this is kind of like a, uh, uh, like a junk journal. That's what that is. So I made it into a junk journal and then I added in also some photo mats in there. Um, and then I'm going to have some pockets, um, and envelopes back here. Um, this one is, uh, more complete here, but if you look at like just the style of them, like just changing the colors, um, they, it makes them look so different. I just, I love that. So this one does the same thing, but this one has three on the front. So in a, in a pocket here and then a little pocket here. So it closes that way, that way, that way. And these are um, envelopes and all this is magnetized. And then um, it kind of has some of the same um, elements and you know throughout the front part and this is going to be uh some photo mats um for lots of photos so you see it's kind of the same like you have some of the same um elements in each of them um this is a template that i used from genevieve and i am obsessed with it right now I, I don't know what it is, but it's all I want to make. I just want to make these. I don't know what, <laughs> I'm like obsessed with them, honestly. And then here's another little, um, this is another, um, like a little junk journal thing. So I just wanted to show y'all what I've been working on. Um, I thought it would be cute to um, let y'all see what I've been doing. I, I just love these. I feel like I, I just can't stop making them. They're just too cute. And these are the perfect little gifts. Like, I'm going to make my son's teacher. I'm going to make her one, too. Um, for um, uh, either, like, 
uh, teacher appreciation or maybe end of year or something like that maybe I'm not sure but I just wanted to show y'all those really quick because I just think they're adorable and I just can't stop making those actually I think I'm gonna make um I may make one because uh, I was gonna give one away with um with Genevieve um, I do have a video that's coming up um, and it's a, a thing a, no, what is it called um dang it I I've lost the word. There's going to be a video coming up, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But, um, so I'm still debating if uh, that's what I should do. And I'll just do a, a giveaway here on my channel. Um, and I, and I, I'm probably going to do one of these right here as the, uh, as the giveaway. Okay, so what I, what I came on here, though, what I came on here for is, um, I want to show y'all, because I, I went to make some of this, um, for myself because I wanted to add some pieces in these little uh, photo albums. So before I did that though, I thought maybe I should show y'all how I do it. Uh, to protect my surface, I'm gonna go overboard. I'm sorry, that is so loud y'all, I'm sorry. Um, I just want to be extra, extra careful, um, and making sure that I have my surface well protected here. Um, let's see. Actually, let me put a mat down. I'm going to do it like this. Okay. This is just some of that, um, that press and seal. Oh, whoa that press and seal, so that will give me an added barrier. And then this is just some uh, piece of wax paper. I, I just reuse it over and over for different things. And then I'm gonna lay my, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm not gonna need that one. I'm not gonna use my actual mat thing. I'm just gonna use this right here. Okay, so what I am doing is, let me grab some napkins too, okay. So this is my little setup I've been using while I'm making this. So um, what I'm doing is making some uh, some of the vellum for tags and envelopes and things like that. And I thought it'd be cute to show y'all how I do it because I know that there's plenty there's plenty of videos on here that show show you how to make it. But something I have noticed is a lot of people will use like um, they'll use coconut oil or cooking oil and I, that's not a good idea to do that because it does mildew uh, it spoils so that's not something that you really want to use I know that a lot of people think that like the coconut oil would be fine um, but it, it it will spoil too so, uh, the best thing that I have found to use that doesn't spoil or doesn't, you know, it doesn't do anything is baby oil. So, this is the kind that I use. And um, I use the kind with the shea and cocoa butter only because I use this also. This is great whenever you get out of the shower. Uh, right before you get out of the shower, if you get a little bit and you put it all over your body and then do a quick rinse so that it's not thick, you know? You just do a, a light rinse. Um, this is the, it'd be like the last step you do in your shower. And it smells so good and it makes your, your body so smooth and it moisturizes your skin and um, it's just really nice and it has a really nice smell to it. So I just use the same baby oil that I use for my shower. I don't buy any different. Um, so, that's what I that's what I use, and it doesn't mildew or ruin uh, your papers. Uh, so, um, and what's the point of making your own uh, versus if you just buy the sheets and print? And this is what the difference is. See how bold these are compared to like this. This is super super see through. And the image is a lot harder um, to come through on the, on the paper. It's even, yeah, it's on, less on the back. But um, 
and this was printing it at you know a very high quality to where it would the printer would lay down you know a good amount of ink so um that's why i like to make uh my own and um i did a couple of different types of papers so this one is like just regular copy paper i think it's like mm, i think it was like 28 pounds something like that just regular copy paper and it makes it more thicker so you're gonna have a thicker feel um, even with the cheapest of papers. So this one here um, was super thin, very, very lightweight copy paper where you could almost see through the copy paper. Um, that was this one. And now it has, it's more durable this way after putting the oil on it than it was, you know, before I did anything. It was very frail before. So it does give it some strength also. And this one here was my favorite printer paper. It's a thicker printer paper. It's like, um, I think it's like 32 pound. Um, and it's so soft and smooth. It's my favorite paper. I do have it a uh, link in the description. Um, I always have it linked so that um, if anybody ever wanted, you know, to see what kind of paper it is, I use it for everything. Um, and so this one does feel a little thicker and it it's not as quite see-through. Uh, let me see. Well, when I use this, you can't really see it. I need something. Let me grab this real quick. So, see, you can see through it. Um, it's just a little bit thicker of a paper because I, I used that 32 pound. And then this one is, um, I believe, the 20, 28 pound. So, they're both see-through, but one is just a little bit thicker than the other. And I think this would be really cute to put on, um, like, a cover of a journal. Like, if you had a pretty print um, on the underneath or, or to even just a solid color or something. And then I would ink up um, the edges and then put this on the front. It just makes it so bold. It brings out the colors. It makes it really vibrant whenever you put the oil on there. So, I have one. I'm going to show you the difference. So, this one here, I printed out this image here. And these are just some of my collage printables that I buy on Etsy. Um, so, I'm going to show y'all um, really quick the difference that it makes um, whenever you um, are putting the oil in there. Uh, well, if I can open it. There we go. Oh, this stuff just smells so good. I just love the smell of this. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm just going to squirt some on there. I'm going to try to do, I think I'll do half and half so you can see the difference on like this one page. And this one here is one of my thicker pages. Uh, I should have grabbed another one on the, um, like the, like this thinner copy paper. I should have printed another image so you could see that one, like in real time. But I didn't think about it. So this is one of the uh, thicker copy papers. Uh, it's really smooth and soft paper. I just love the feel of it. You see how the images, like, they brighten up and they get, like, more crisp looking? Like, even if you didn't want to have the, uh, like, use it as a vellum, even just to make your images, um, like, pop and be, um, you know, more vibrant, so you can see it's coming through now. This is the back side. And because this is such a thicker copy paper, um, it takes it a minute to soak it up uh, because it's just such a thick paper. So it takes a little bit more time 
Okay, I think that's good enough. This is just for some demonstration purposes only. So you see it's coming through. Um, I hope, that, is this showing up on here that good? Oh, it might be showing up on there even better. Can you see through? Can you see my hand through there? Yeah. So, um, you can't see through here. That's what it looks like. So, it just gives it like, um, I don't know. It's just, it makes it just more vibrant. I just love that. Like, whenever I printed this image, I should have printed two. Why didn't I think of that? I could have printed two and then I could have showed you the difference. When I did this one, this one was kind of dull, like 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 washed out looking. And then whenever I put the um, baby oil on there, it just deepened all the colors and it just made it look so pretty. Um, okay, so that's how I get it. And then you would want to let it sit. I, I let mine sit overnight. And what I do is I'll have my, here's like my stack of paper towels. And I'll layer it, like I'll have it to where it folds over, not to bend the paper, but like that. And then I'll put like a book or something or like a cup of water, some, something to hold it down heavy. Um, and it will soak up any of the extra, um, like the excess or whatever. So, um, so that is how I make uh, my vellum. And now what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a quick idea for... I'm going to swap that out just in case. And I need to get me uh, a little squirt of some hand sanitizer just to get, like, some of that oil off of me. Okay. Uh, some cute ideas I was thinking to show y'all. You, you can use punches. So, here is some of my uh, paper punches that I used. Like, here's the flat... Uh, the flower. Here's the butterfly. Here's this little, uh, like this little tag thing. And then here is the flower. So, um, and then I also have like this tag one where it'll, it'll, um, pop out a cute little tag. And then you can punch the hole right here. Um, so it does work with those. And I thought what would be cute though is, you know what, let me try it with um, a different, let me try this one with, a, I need a different print, because that's the same as this. I need, like, a different, um, something that'll show up better on here. Maybe, maybe this lighter. Oh, oh we gotta get that butterfly. How about that? Well, no, because I'm gonna cover it up anyway, so I'm not gonna mess with that butterfly. I'm going to come over here to this side. So what I was thinking would be something that would be a really easy and cute idea would be uh, to make this little envelope. Okay, so I just punch these out. And you, if you don't have a punch for this, you can just draw, um, you know, draw a flower out on there and then just fussy cut it. And then take you a piece of your um, your vellum that you made and fold it to whatever size envelope that you want. And this isn't perfect because I just ripped it kind of, kind of ripped it weird. But so it's not going to line up perfect, but I'm not worried about that. And then you can dress it up however you want. You can put some fabrics on here, some lace on here. Um, and what I'm going to do is, let me see, let me see if this will work. Because usually I like to roll my flowers, like the, the tips, I like to roll them up a little bit and give it a little bit of a curl. I need like something, I need a different thing here to, let me see, will this one work better? I need something to actually work. I can't find my curler thing. I have a... A little tool that I usually use when ever since I cleaned up now I can't find a lot of my stuff though but that's working somewhat so then I'm going to stack them do I want that one on top or that one I guess it doesn't matter too much so I'm going to caddy wonk them like that 
And then I have this little button um, that I can put right here in the middle. And that can be um, on the front of the envelope like that for a little closure. And then to close it up, uh, you can just use some, whatever glue or tape or whatever you want. And I'm just going to put me a little strip of glue on either side like that. And then just close it up. Oh, I didn't think about that's uneven on that side. Oh, I got it on there. Okay, so like that. And then um, I'm going to use a different glue on, uh, on this. I'm gonna use this one on here just so that I know it'll grab it and it'll hold a, a lot quicker. So I'm gonna put a dot of glue on the button and then I'm gonna glue it to this top flower right here. I would normally spend a little more time on curling uh, these flower petals but for the sake of uh, time, I'm not gonna fuss with it right now. Cause I'm just trying to give like, just a quick example. Oh, did I get, what is that? Oh, that was some hand sanitizer. Yeah, I think, or was that some, oh, that was hand sanitizer. I thought maybe I'd spilt some Baby will on it. Okay, well that's, the button's not quite sticking all the way, but you get the idea like that. And then you, to use the, um, I would use some of these, the little mini uh, Velcro fasteners and put one there and there. And you can, um, oh, see that's not staying. I don't know why that's not catching. I think, actually, I think I know because it has an indent and so it's not flat, so it's not wanting to, it's not wanting to hold. I'm gonna have to like push it in. There we go, now maybe it'll hold. That actually might help with making it, my petals uh, flip up. I didn't think about that. Okay, so what I would do is put one of these little uh, fastener things on there like that. And then this, I would have it hang down just a little bit. And then even, I would probably put a little piece of, where did it go? Well, I don't have it over here. Hmm. Let me just grab, I'm gonna just grab something from here real quick. So maybe this might be too big. Yeah, that's way too big. But just to give you the idea of what I'm talking about, um, you could put a piece, um, underneath it like that, or you could put a piece on top of it, just depending on what you have. Now, I would, um, I would like tea dye this piece so it's not so stark white, if this is what I was going to be using, and then put it on there. Um, I just think that would be really cute. Um, also the, um, the vellum sheets would be good for, um, let me put that back for making like journal tags just kind of dressing it up a little bit I think that that would be really cute too um I did have one let me see yep right here so for a, another journal that I'm making uh I made one of these long it's like a, a bunch of random um scrap cut off pieces and I'm gonna make this into just one long tag that I'm gonna stick into the journal and make, it's almost gonna be like a bookmark, you know, like I'll punch a hole and put a ribbon or something through it. But I thought it was so cute to have this piece of vellum on top of, um, like on top of the tag. So this is gonna be like a bookmark journal tag that has a lot of room for some journaling. So that's another idea. I thought that that would be cute to share with y'all. And you can make clusters, like the um, the, the little tiny clusters for tuck spots and stuff like that. 
And you can also um, use it in making these little paper clip. Um, uh, what, what are these called? Like decorated paper clips? Cluster paper clips? I'm not sure what they're called. Uh, maybe altered paper clips. Um, anyway, so you could use that instead of this clear. Uh, or you could use the clear on the front and then use a piece of the um, vellum like for the back piece. That would be cute too. So just a couple of ideas. Uh, I just thought that I would share that with y'all real quick while I was making some myself um, for these little uh, cute journals that I just showed, or these are photo albums that I just showed y'all in the beginning. So, okay, so that's gonna be it for uh, this little video. It's just a quick little video. Um, I am starting on, I told y'all I was going to be doing, um, the, the travel journal. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to, uh, start that video here shortly. Uh, we're going to do a, uh, traveler's junk journal. That's what I'm going to, I'm going to show y'all how I make mine. Um, so that will be coming up, uh, that'll be coming up soon. Okay. Well, that is it for now. So I will see y'all next time. Bye.